To install Fabric to Minecraft 1.19.3 or later, it's actually very simple. So the first thing we need to do is to open up our Minecraft launcher and you want to select the correct version that you want Fabric for. In this case we're going to use 1.19.3 and then you want to click on play. Ok, so Minecraft has been loaded up which means the correct files have been downloaded to our computer so we can go ahead and quit the game. So now we need to download Fabric. To do this you want to go to your web browser and you want to go to fabricmc.net and I'll leave a link in the description. Once here you want to click on download for windows if you're on a windows computer but if you are on another operating system you want to use the download universal jar. So in this case I'm going to click on download for windows and we're going to save the installer to our desktop. We also need to download the Fabric API so we have full support for mods and to do this you want to click on the Fabric API download link and this will take you to the CurseForge website and from here you want to click on the files tab and then you want to search for the version of Minecraft that you want to download the Fabric API for. So in this case we're using Minecraft 1.19.3 so you want to click on the download file link and then you want to wait a few seconds and your downloads will automatically start. And in this case I'm going to download the Fabric API to my desktop just as I did with the installer. So the next step is to install Fabric and to do this you just want to open up the Fabric installer and it should look something like this. So for the Minecraft version you just want to select the one you want, so in this case we're using 1.19.3 and for the loader version you want to make sure you're on the latest version. You then want to make sure your install location is correct, in this case it is, and once you're ready you want to make sure create profile is ticked and then click on install. The installation should take any more than a few seconds and once it's done you want to click on OK and then exit out of the Fabric installer. So the final step is to install the Fabric API and to do this you just want to right click on your windows icon and click on run and then you want to type send app data percent and click on ok. From here you want to click on the dot minecraft folder at the top and then you want to create a new folder. So you want to click on new and then folder and you want to call it mods just as shown and click on ok. You then want to go inside the mods folder and then we need to just drag and drop the fabric API we downloaded earlier into the mods folder. This is where you're going to download and install all of your fabric mods in the future, just like we installed the fabric API. So to play the fabric version of Minecraft with your mods, all we need to do is open our Minecraft launcher, and then on the version drop down menu, you want to select that, and then you want to select the fabric loader. If you don't see this, you may need to restart your Minecraft launcher. So once you've done this, you want to click on play, and then you want to click on I understand the risks, and click on play. So when Minecraft loads up, you know you've done this correctly because it will say Minecraft version number slash fabric and then modded in brackets. You can go ahead and start playing Minecraft with your mods just as you normally would. And that's it. So if you have any questions or comments, leave them below and I'll reply to you as soon as I can.